What's up, everybody? Welcome to the EI Aesthetics YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm so glad you're watching my video. Make sure you subscribe because I got a ton of dope content coming for you in 2022. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I seriously couldn't do any of this without your support. We have done so much in 2021, and I can't wait to see what God does to our channel in this next year. Today, we're coming into my apartment to do a fridge and a cabinet tour. I thought a lot of you are gonna be trying to change your diet, trying to change your lifestyle in 2022. So what better way for me to help you than show you what types of food I have in my apartment. With that said, we're gonna start with the fridge and disclaimer, there's gonna be some stuff in here that is not mine, that my wife likes, like the ice cream in the freezer, okay? But I do not eat it. Sometimes, you know, you just gotta spoil your wife. So it is what it is. But we're gonna start with my main staples for almost all my meal preps is what I have at the top of the shelf. And that is gonna be my protein source as well as my green source. I almost always eat chicken for my meal preps as well as spinach. Um, and one thing a lot of people do wrong when they have salads and stuff like that is they take something that can be really healthy for you and they turn it into an unhealthy high calorie meal by adding a ton of super unhealthy dressings that are high in calories. I almost always put some type of fresh fruit with my salad. It makes it taste not even like spinach. It makes it taste like a fruit. And I honestly think it's like a snack. I think it's a treat every time I eat it. So make sure you're doing that. Um, the next thing I have in here is my meal prep for this week. Um, so this week I have lean turkey as well as peas, carrots, and some brown rice. So one thing that you need to make sure you're doing um, in this new year is having healthy foods available to you. Because what happens is when you don't have healthy foods in your fridge or in your cabinet or your cupboard, um, inevitably you're gonna go out, spend money you didn't need to spend and eat food that you probably didn't need to eat and it's most likely gonna be really high in calories. So try and make sure that you have food available to you in your house, in your apartment, wherever you live that you can eat. Um, the next thing uh, is gonna be breakfast. I almost always eat eggs along with Greek yogurt. Um, they're both great sources of protein, natural protein, as well as antioxidants uh, in the Greek yogurt. And it has zero gram, zero percent fat, no artificial sweeteners, no added sugar. So super good for you. And it also tastes amazing. And sometimes if I like to switch things up and I'm getting old of my, uh, old of my breakfast, I just pop in some hot turkey sausage into a burrito, make a breakfast burrito. Um, and that tastes super good as well. I usually also have like a carb um, or something like that with my breakfast, but we'll get to that once we hit uh, my cabinet. Um, the next thing I got in here, uh, I'm gonna be totally honest, I just bought these this week. I'm trying it out. I usually don't use any type of pre-workout because it messes with me, but um, I have a friend who said he loves ghost energy drinks. Um, caffeine is great before a workout. Um, it really actually promotes growth and promotes better results than if you don't use caffeine before your workout. So I'm gonna be trying it out as well as something in my cupboard um, I'm trying out. It's not necessarily the healthiest snack, but I'm gonna get to that once we get there. I always am trying to find ways to make things healthier. So like taking taking things and then getting the, the no sugar added version, right? Those are just easy ways that you can make sure you're getting the most healthy option possible. Um, and then here at the bottom, I have a lot of my cheese and just tortillas. And then as always, I'm, I'm drinking water constantly. So I have water available and ready for me. Um, that way I'm not being dehydrated. Um, my body has all the water that it needs to sustain all the bodily functions. And at the bottom, I almost always have protein shakes um, available for me. It's usually like a protein milk concentrate blend. That way it's um, longer lasting. It's not as fast like an isolate, but super tasty. Get it at like Sam's for, for honestly not that expensive. I'm actually super hungry and I haven't had protein in a few hours, so I'm gonna be drinking that. So I think that's pretty much it as far as the fridge goes. We're gonna go ahead and open up the freezer and show you what the types of food I have in here. Here is the ice cream that I was telling you about. Peanut butter party, it's not even barely open, guys, come on. Some of the things I have are swai fillets, if that's how you say that, as well as salmon. Um, it's good to have sources of fish to get your omega-6s in. And then I also have frozen chicken, that's for my meal prep. It's cheaper to buy it in bags like this, I've found. Uh, and then I also have these like acai super fruit packets. There's just a lot of good ingredients and, and antioxidants in, in the acai blends. Uh, so that's why I have that. That's about it. I got ice at the bottom and some frozen bananas for smoothies. So yeah, that's basically my fridge. If you wanna know um, what types of meals I make, I have a video um, that I've already made basically showing you what I eat in a day. Talking about the different, different recipes I make, how to make them healthy, 
how to make them taste good. So go ahead and check that out. I'll have that linked right there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get into my cupboard. Uh, there's a lot of things in here, like I said, that are not mine that I don't eat, like goldfish. Uh, my wife likes goldfish. But with that said, I'm gonna be showing you, a lot of these are gonna be more snack type items, right? Things that when you're hungry um, and your body is craving, maybe a sweet or something like that, it's a great healthy replacement that I use um, in order to stay lean year round. So the first thing that I'm always doing is eating some type of protein bar or granola bar. So these RX bars are really expensive. I'm gonna just be honest, they're so expensive, but they're worth it because it's super natural. Like literally the ingredients are dates, egg whites, cashews, almonds, chocolate, cocoa, natural flavors, and sea salt. It doesn't get more basic than that. So it's not a bunch of pre preservative crap. And every once in a while, I switch up what type of protein bars I have. So right now I have Robert Irvine's Fit Crunch bars. Usually I'm getting the pure protein bars just because they're the cheapest um, and they got a good source of protein, but they were, uh, they were out of that at Sam's. Um, the next thing I have is those carbs I was talking to you guys about. So I usually keep some sort of oatmeal packets uh, because breakfast usually needs to be quick, right? You're waking up, you need to leave for work. And so you can't spend a long time making breakfast. So I have oatmeal packets for that, as well as whole wheat bread to make French toast. Once again, just an easy way, white and rich flour is not as good as whole wheat bread, easy way to make things healthy. Um, the next thing that I have is gonna be my chips. Let's unravel these and kind of take a look at them. These are called uh, chickpea veggie, veggie crisps. They're actually amazing. Like literally I would take these over Doritos, over anything like that. And they taste super good and they're healthy. Basic in ingredients, it's got rice, chickpeas, peas, and black beans. So trying to, they are a little bit more expensive, right? But it's worth it. You need to be able to sacrifice for your health. Uh, what else? Oh, this is what I was talking to you guys about. So I, I bought Rice Krispie treats. I'm not a huge uh, believer in eating things with a ton of added sugar and a ton of like processed foods, but lately I've been noting, noticing I'm not as energized in my workouts, um, despite me, you know, timing my meals pretty well. So I wanted to try a little bit of fast acting carbs before my workout. So we're gonna be eating these today before I work out, seeing if that helps me have a little bit more energy. I usually always have some type of like trail mix um, or nut, almond. I literally eat like a handful, like a pinch, not a handful, like a pinch every single day. So just take a little pinch, put it in a Ziploc baggie, um, get you some good fats. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is the bottom, which is a lot of uh, like my carbs and pastas. So I got whole wheat penne pasta. This is what I usually use for my meal prep. Uh, and then one of my favorites, I actually had them this morning, are gonna be buttermilk pancakes, protein pancakes by Kodiak Cakes. I will link uh, these pancakes down below in the description. They taste so good. They have protein. If you add milk and eggs, I think it's like 18 grams of protein per serving. So a great anabolic meal that is gonna get you fueled for the rest of your day. Um, as well as, this is a sweetener that I use. Um, it's just stevia leaf extract. It makes things taste a lot better, like smoothies. It sweetens them up without having all that extra added sugar. Uh, the last two things I need to show you guys are some of the added, added things that I use in my meals. Low calorie sugar-free syrup, as well as honey. Both a lot better options than the like 96 added gram sugar Miss Butterworth syrup, right? That stuff's horrible for you. So it's about taking little steps um, and doing the little things to make sure you're picking the best possible choices for your health in 2022. Listen, if you're interested in changing your life, make sure you reach out to me via email down below. I offer custom workout plans and I would love to help you guys get in the best shape of your life. If you guys haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe. You guys are helping me follow my dreams. I appreciate all the support you've been showing me. I'm going to be posting one video per week coming in 2022. So we're gonna be doubling the amount of content we're putting out and I'm really excited to see what God does this year. I'll see you in the next video, peace. Thank you.